Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem on your Windows 11 operating system. In the first step, go to search bar and simply type in task manager. From the search results, click here to open it. Once we are here, we need to click on run new task, then select browse button. Now go to this PC and open C drive, then open Windows folder. Now we need to find out Steam32 folder. Simply double click on it to open it. Now find out cmd.exe file. Simply select it and click on open. Now this will be our main path. C drive, Windows folder, System32 folder and cmd.exe file. Check this box and click on OK. This will open command prompt window. Now we need to execute some commands type these commands carefully type, it, type in sfc space slash scan now and simply hit enter so this process will take some time we need to wait for it then now go to search bar and find out device manager so click here open it on this window just expand display adapters right click on this adapter select properties and go to drivers tab and click on update driver now check this make sure you are connected with your inter connection, internet connection so the best drivers are installed now close this window again expand IDE ATA ATA PI controllers now from the controllers we need to search for the main adapter then right click on it and select properties again go to drivers tab and click on update driver do the same process for this one also now close all windows this command also done so type exit to close the command prompt window now go to search bar and type in services click here to open it on this window we need to find out uh, windows update so right click on it select properties from the startup type set automatic then click on apply then click on start and then ok now close this window and simply move to the next step this is the last one so go to search bar type in cmd right click on it and select run as administrator now type this command chk dsk type in chk dsk space slash f space slash r and hit enter then type y and simply hit enter now we will see the changes for that simply simply restart your system then you will see these changes that's it guys your problem will be solved and you are good to go